Okay, um, this is the same drill that we have from that I show you over here. The same um, ah, not drill. <laughs> I call this rail. Okay, rail. So I use the bottom part like to put my plants. I use the top part to put my clothes. <laughs> and in between the bottom and the pot and the top, we got this: the fruits, the flowers. Uh, I noticed one of the beans fell off it was it has been very windy but my beans are growing pretty nice as you can see they're all growing good you know so i use this basically for that um and in between i put some more plants and all that okay so you see as you see here this is how basically i do it i also have hangers i use this part top part here we put these hangers, which is very easy for the table because you just pick it up, put it in your lap or whatever, and put the water, whatever. So here you got this. It's all imagination. That's all you need. A little bit of imagination. I got this here, which is basically the same thing that is over there, but this one has milk cartons. I have to check how the bottom is. This is very hard to check because it's not transparent. You can have a little canister like this and put it on top of the table. You know, if you don't have one of these rails, you could put it always on top of the table. And it'll be basically the same thing. This is just, use, uh, I'm using this as a table to put my plants. So as you can see, I have letters. I cut them down. That's why you don't see them as big, you know. I ate them. <laughs> and I try to, how you call it, take some out because there was too many of them in there. Here I got my tomatoes. You know, these are the big tomatoes, the ones they sell in the store. You open it up, you put it in the dirt, and you ate a tomato, plus you eat that. You have their seeds. You could dry the seeds also. So, you know, there's no sense of buying um, tomato things to plant it, because you could do that from the store. You know, you eat the tomato and you do that. Okay, so let me go to the next part. Ah, okay, excuse me. <laughs> okay, this is the rail is holding this um, board. This is a piece of board because my son made a dog house for his dogs. And this is a piece of board that was left over. I said, man, I could use that. So I put it here. It's hold by the rail. And I, I could put more plants here. See how easy it is? Let me show you something. A little experiment I'm doing. I don't know if it's going to work. But it's throwing roots, as you can see there. I have it in water. And I hope it grows. <laughs> And let's go real fast to the next one. Okay, uh, my husband bought me this. So I could put all my stuff in there. You know, my cartons, my seeds, everything. So he gave me this to put that there, which I have to put. Because as you can see there, I'm getting lazy. I am not putting my things away. There's another one. But um, basically, this is how it is. This is also letters that I took out for my a family of mine that she's supposed to come and pick it up I don't know when but you know this is a cut out pepper uh, you can see the pepper let me see right here it was cut out let me see if you can see it right there uh, the leaves keeps going on the way okay right there it cut it was cut there look how big it's grown I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bigger and I'm gonna cut it again on the top so this you could use this also you know uh, you could use the container like I did over there. Use the container. I think this costs like $12, $15, something like that. And you could just make some holes in the bottom, fill it up with dirt, and plant. Okay, now, but everything is not happy dandy. I got some in the floor. Yep, I got some in the floor. I have these flowers right there, which I was thinking about putting them outside. You know, I got... I have this lemon tree you know the lemon tree is easier because I just pick it up like from here you know just bend down pick it up here this one I do not pick up because it is heavy so I just leave it there and just water it the day I need to pick it up I will probably ask for some help and I got these also they're, they're in the floor there is not hard to after you have them in the floor it's not hard like to give them water you know and things like that because these are on the floor, I don't need it to pick them up. You know, I just put the water in and everything, and that's it. You know, 
So unless you need to pick it up, you could put this either way. I have it on the floor, but uh, you could buy like a small table or a canister like there. Or make uh, some sort of board in the balcony, a board, you know, and just put them on top of there. You know, and that way you don't have to bend down. This is my tomato plant that I'm going to replant, not today, but because I got to get dirt from outside. This is my tomato plant. You see, um, this one I like to pick up and look at it. So I put it on top of this other plant. It's full of dirt, and then I put this one on top. So I don't know if I'm going to put it under this or get a, because I want a deep thing so the root could go really deep. So I don't know if I should do like I did to this plant. You know, just put it there. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with that. And then this one, I don't have to pick it up either. It's very hot. Uh, even though I could carry this one, um, because sometimes the water down there gets filled. So, you know, when there's too much water there, the mosquitoes, you know, you got to be very careful. So what I do is I pick it up, throw the water out, and put it back in here. So this is my avocado plant. Let me see if I can show you. Um, it was cut from here. This is a shooting that it had. A new shooting. This is babies. This is baby. It has a lot of little stems coming out. So I'm going to wait for this stem to get this to get bigger. And I'll be cutting it again. So it could throw more stems. Because I wanted to make it into a bushy short avocado. And hopefully it will give me fruits. Well this is all for now. And uh, I want to just. I'll probably do this in two sections. Because I don't want to bore nobody with this. But um, I, do, I think it's very important that people understand how a person in the wheelchair could do this. Anybody, if I, we could do it, anybody could do it. And I want to. I also wanted to stimulate my friend, um, Miss Jade Eyes. You know, do planting. <laughs> Tell your husband, get me a little table. I am gonna plant. You know. And if you got rails like this, just put them in between the rails and put it to your size where you could, you know, mess around with it without having to bend down. So this is how I do my planting as a disabled. And I want to stimulate other people to do it. I have my, a lot of people over here that are starting to get stimulated. Even my son, you know, he's planting. Um, the other day he planted, um, what was it? Oh, cucumbers cucumbers and pigeon peas so and plus he got like around 20 plants of um plantain that he also buried they're small you got one big one that he did a, a long time ago so you know and he got bananas you know so he's starting to do it his wife is starting to do it in his house her house she's doing basically like me you know in the rail on the floor wherever she could get some space you know and that, that you know i'm teaching her how to in a small space because she got a small balcony so it's very hard on her so i'm teaching her how she could do it this way just tie it up and it won't be no you know she's not wasting no space because that'll be basically in this virtually the same size as the rail so it's like in between the two rails and you know it is all it's not in the floor where her cat or dog could mess around with it so this is all for now say hi to my little baby dog Oh, which I want to kill him. He's getting too rough. Okay, so that'll be all for now, and God bless you all.